Subject Sigma is approaching Minerva's den. He must not reach the Tengar. Detonate the tunnel! Hello, Mr. Sigma? Can you hear me? The name's Porter. Charles Milton Porter. Doc Tenenbaum tells me you're here to help us get the thinker out of Rapture. It's not going to be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You should be able to get inside through an airlock. Minerva's den has been cut off from the rest of Rapture for some time, but not cut off from splicing. Don't let your guard down. The den's gone dark, but if you can reset the local power relay, I'll be able to get the juice flowing from here. Mr. Porter, let me be the first to congratulate you on the founding of Rapture Central Computing. The great chain only grows stronger with each pair of hands laid upon it. I trust that you and I will choose to pull Rapture in the same direction. Hello there. Welcome to Minerva's Den, the home of Rapture's high technology. What steps into Minerva's den? Porter's newest toy? He wants to think her for himself. Ah, but you see, old friend, the machine has chosen me. He and I founded Rapture Central Computing together, but the greedy bastard pushed me out years ago. The splicers, the security. He pulls the strings in Minerva's den now. Porter and I are partners, but he's wasting that machine. In off hours, I've been using it to predict the outcomes of baseball games, and it is incredibly accurate. Apply such equations to Rapture's markets. This thing is the money-making grail. But Porter, I have heard them feeding at recordings of his dead wife. The fool wants to turn the thinker into a person. I could not imagine a sadder fate for such a perfect machine. Look at you, Sigma. You think that Porter is your ally. But the thinker knows better. The thinker knows. What would Rapture be like without automation? From self-opening doors to automatic delivery, Rapture's central computer. The power is rerouted. That should tip things in our favor. Head up to my office in the executive wing. I've got something you'll need. Hurry now. Security system. Divert bots, turrets, and cameras to attack where you choose. Send friendly bots on errands. 
Mr. Ryan hired me to build a computer that could keep an entire city running on time. The Rapture Operational Data Interpreter Network. Folks call it the Thinker for short. We've harnessed the power of Adam even in this, allowing the mainframe to process data at the speed of thought. In other words, it thinks for us. Yes. And with the completion of the independent reasoning processor, it may finally think for itself. If Turing could see me now. Those vacuum bots sucked up all sorts of things before they went on the fritz. Crack one open, and you might find something you can use. The Thinker's perfect equation has predicted your every move, Sigma. It knew you would be here. It knows where you will be next. And it knows that you will fail. Walls become obsessed with perfecting his predictive equation. The Thinker can do plenty but tell the future. No. The splicing drove him mad. Wall can rot here in rapture for all I care. We'll make a copy of the Thinker and return it to the land of the living. Adam is a predatory substance. After exposure, a constant supply is required to maintain its effects. Otherwise, the user deteriorates into madness. My plasmid, which releases the little ones from their servitude, is promising, but limited. It only works on the children with the slugs in their bellies. On an adult splicer or big daddy, you will see rejection effect. Undesirable. But, if the deterioration of mind and body were reversible, if Adam's sickness could be cured, then its predatory nature would be no more. That damn door on the Fritz again? Somebody around here must have had one of those maintenance tools. I'd check the machine room here in the executive wing. haven't gotten into my office thanks to the Thinker's security. I'm giving you top-level access now. All right? Beginning scan. Scanning. Designation. Sigma. Please, come in. Sorry I can't be there to meet you in person. You've seen the state of the den these days. 
It's the thinker that's important now, though. I need you to get to the computer core and print a hard copy of the thinker's machine code. Core accesses and operations. There's an ops access punch card hidden in the compartment under my desk there. Grab the card and head for ops. That first year in London working for Turing, I didn't see Pearl much. Spent all day and night in a government compound, building a computer to crack the Enigma machine. Pearl got pretty fed up with me. I didn't pay her heed. And then one night, I'm out in that complex, and the blitz starts falling. Next morning, I came home to find nothing but ashes where I last saw her. Nothing but ashes. Potter's time is done, friend. And now you collude with this traitor to steal the thinker away from me? <laughs> Sigma must be removed from the equation. Thinker, deploy office defenses. He was a brilliant engineer. We saw eye to eye once, long ago, but the splicing made him paranoid, delusional. He'd murder us both to keep the thinker here. The Rapture Central Computing Mainframe performs over one million calculations per second. Couldn't your business? The Lancer is the most technically advanced big daddy that Rapture ever produced. Now it stands between you and the Little Sisters. And if there's anywhere that you'll need Adam to get by, it's Minerva's Den. Subject Sigma rises above the pack, hmm? A futile gesture before the all-knowing thinker. So, new visitors to the Rapture... Central computing mainframe, but you can see Rodan's masterpiece of sculpture that shares its name. Come visit the Thinker today in Minerva's Den. We found Adam, Daddy. Do what you will with the girls. Twist your body with Adam. The Thinker's perfect equation accounts for all possibilities. The maglock door's still active. It's regulated by the resistors plugged into that relay. If you can find a way to yank them out, magnets fail, doors open. There's a plasmid that could do the job. They call it gravity well. According to the Thinker's records, the Airtight Archives Warehouse Supervisor had a shot of gravity well on hand. Getting into the Archives Warehouse? That'll be the fun part. The door to the Archives is shorted out. I'd check the McClendon Robotics Workshops for a shot of Electrobolt. Don't they deserve to be protected? Another malfunctioning door control? Your hack tool should get you into McClendon Robotics. Mom, what's 7 times 12? Don't ask me, silly. Ask the computer tutor. Honey, I'm home from work. What's that wonderful smell? The automatic chef made your favorite tonight. Tuna surprise. And I didn't have to lift a finger. Yay! Yay! Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Don't thank me. Thank McClendon Robotics. How might McClendon Robotics improve the lives of your customers? Meet with one of our corporate representatives today. McClendon Robotics, conveniently located in Minerva's Den, the heart of Raptor's high technology. Uh, I guess sometimes a cloud of lead just ain't enough. 
Today I signed for a shipment of those new bot models from McClendon. One variety tosses lightning bolts and the other fires a swarm of rockets. I understand we got some sensitive info bouncing around the mainframe, but brother, have these guys ever heard of Overkill? At least this will come as a surprise to you. A thing like that? Losing the only person you care about for somebody else's war? It makes you take stock. I started seeing eye to eye with Mr. Ryan around that time. And so, I brought my know-how down to Rapture. I built the thinker for him. And now it's all I've got. I wonder sometimes, what if I'd come around to Ryan's way of thinking just a little sooner? Robotic little sisters! Robotic little sisters! <laughs> Sure, Mr. Ryan, we'll take that contract. Sure, yeah, we'll front all the R&D costs, no problem. And, and when the big daddies ignore the little robot girls and all your fancy field, uh, field tests, ah, uh, hell, what are we gonna do with all the full production run of these useless things? Pearl's death opened up a kind of hole in my mind. But eventually I got around to reflecting on Alan and his intelligence test for machines. I remember grinning about the idea that I could beat it. Design a machine capable of replicating Turing himself. And wouldn't that show the old man? But then suddenly I realized I wasn't really thinking about replicating Alan at all. I was thinking about Pearl. Thinker's independent reasoning processor has been running for several months now. Standardized intelligence test scores continue to rise, beginning daily voice synthesis test. Good morning, Thinker. How are you? Acceptable. Request to continue most recent conversation topic. Pearl Porter. Oh, my late wife. Yes, I'd love to tell you all about her. I have a number of old audio recordings we made together that you could listen to, if you'd like. Acceptable. Begin input of data regarding Pearl Porter. You took the words right out of my mouth, friend. Stun your enemies with a thousand votes. Shock in water for an extra charge. How does it feel to know that your grand purpose is foretold by a machine? The numbers know already what will happen. As I tell you this, will it affect the outcome? Eh, I am not so much holding my breath. One good zap from that electrobolt plasmid should get you into the archives. Dear Dr. Lamb, I received the invitation to your little social club today. In return, I'd like to make you a wager. I wager you need Rapture Central Computing just a little bit more than I need your half-baked metaphysical mumbo-jumbo. Ideal in science, not... Whatever it is you're up to, you keep out of Minerva's den, and I'll keep this city's automation from grinding to a complete and sudden halt. Sound fair? The Thinker has taken note of your new toy. A firecracker before the eyes of God. A 
pair of thugs came into the archives today and started calling up codes from all over Rapture. People's private possessions just rifling through them. Said they were Ryan's security. That they were doing maintenance on the pneumatic system. Maintenance? Huh. Isn't the point of the archives to keep your things safe from prying eyes? I have begun testing a new approach to the splicing sickness problem. Adam remembers, you see. The method uses the Adam's own recall of past cell configurations to revert each of the patient's genetic changes. With one final dose, we return the patient to his former self. It is only theory. The number of potential bonding sites for even a single test is innumerable, and I cannot calculate alone. But I have heard of an adding machine at the heart of the city, beyond the capability of any device the world has known. Perhaps, if I could harness its power... Sure, you hear it in Rapture. One of the business types asked me, why don't you splice white? Get ahead. Well, that's some idiocy. I told him, first of all, I am ahead. Second, in Rapture. It's your work that's supposed to matter, not your skin. Too bad for some folks who can't splice in common sense. Continuing input of audio data into the Thinker's database. Subject. Pearl Porter. Closer now into the recorder. I don't know what to say, Milton. <clears throat> this is Mrs. Pearl Porter speaking. That's the way. And I'm recording this message with my brilliant husband, whom I love very much. And, um, I am so looking forward to seeing London. That wasn't so hard, now was it? Won't you be glad that we have these to listen to when we're old and gray? Hey, I'm just doing my job. And these pencil necks ain't conducting themselves in a way that'll make it go easy for them. Mr. Ryan needs to keep an eye on what certain subversives got circulating in the archives. That's just the way it is. These pinkos think the bandits are just gonna play nice? Send their plans to the Central Council with a bow on top? When it comes to Mr. Ryan, you're either with him or you ain't. Get used to it. Porter thinks his talking computer is harmless fun. It talks like a man. This is a simple toy? No. I have heard that Ryan is becoming paranoid about this Fontaine character. If Porter were implicated as a criminal, I would have to think of to myself. As it was meant to be. Keep tinkering, Porter. Your time will come. Clear a room of clutter, or your enemies. Watch them try to resist the pull of Gravity Well. The Tinker knows what you're going to do with that, and it isn't happy. Why? The machine's prediction accounts for your every act. Until you reach the Tinker's core, the equation simply ends. I will not let such an error come to pass. Porter, it has come to my attention that a certain prominent bronze figure has been installed in Minerva's den. An original cast from the mold, no less. Such indulgence leaves a trail. If that costly little souvenir brings the looter sniffing to my door and I am forced to gun them down, it will be at your feet that I lay the blame. Maurice, I need a new pair of shoes ordered and sent to the Numo in my office immediately. The vacuum bot ate one of mine. Size 7. Alligator. Heels.
Up and over, friend. Once you toss that gravity well over the divider, the suction will do the rest. Bingo. That's the way. We're one step closer to getting the Thinker's blueprint out of Rapture. Head down the lift to operations. Operations. You're nearing the heart of the machine. Visitors to Minerva's Den are reminded that the operations wing of Rapture Central Computing is strictly off-limits. Sigma! You show such loyalty to a proven traitor! What is Porter to you? A convenient excuse to disrupt my work? Or something... more? I am curious, I must admit. But not enough to let you live. This rapture running smoothly. I've got a bathosphere at my lab that should be able to get us the hell out of Rapture, but we can't launch just yet. First, we'll need to reprogram a signal beacon. That nutcase lamb's got the city on lockdown, but a hacked beacon should keep her torpedoes at bay. See what you can find. After some searching, I made contact with Charles Milton Porter in Minerva's den. A productive exchange. Clearly, Rapture is no place to continue my research. But Porter says that if he can find a way to return to the surface, along with the programming for his mainframe, we could then rebuild the machine and work together towards the cure. I have located an Alpha series to assist him. Subject Sigma. I must return to the surface. If Sigma is successful in Minerva's den, then the cure for Adam's curse is on its way. It is only a matter of time. The seafloor outside Minerva's den is a machine graveyard. With a little luck, you should find the beacon we need out there. I must keep an eye on Porter and his thinking machine. There's more than one way to muscle out a rival, and I suspect that Fontaine is vying for market dominance in computing now as well. Each hour, that contraption Spence crunching genetic code for Fontaine brings my city one step closer to dissolution. And if Porter should begin dancing to that hoodlum's tune, well, the machine is a marvel, invaluable. The man may prove obsolete. Some damn fool stuck his finger in the socket. To get out through the airlock, you'll have to break the circuit somehow. I figured out how to reprogram a bathosphere signal beacon to scramble Lamb's torpedoes. But I need access to a bathosphere, and Porter's got the only one in the den locked away at his private dock. Son of a bitch, why doesn't he open up? Look for a downed bathosphere. They each had a signal beacon we could use. Make yourself at home, Sigma. Soon you also will be rusting here among the trash, used up by Porter and tossed on the heap. That'll do the trick. Take the beacon to the master input console in the programming wing. 
That paranoid bastard Wall had it installed in his office. Surprise, Sigma! The brain boosted gene tonics are working. Extra strength, yes. I see more now. One mind, doing the work of two. Ten, with the help of the Tinker, a thousand. The machine spoke. Ryan listened. And finally, I have the Thinker all to myself. Goodbye, old friend. Don't worry. You leave your creation in capable hands. Some of the boys in the code pit whipped up a real doozy of an entertainment. Monitor screen hooked into a sort of tiny airplane cockpit, yeah? And that's swell, because what shows up on screen is an X, that's you, and a bunch of O's, like a Spitfire surrounded by a squadron of Jap Zeros. You fly your little X around and shoot them down one after another. The wall caught us at it one night, called it a waste of time. I don't know. On balance, ain't it better to change what's on the screen than just stare at it? Hey, Felix. I hear Porter is really happy about the new trajectory calculation routine. You know, the one that we worked on for six months? The one you took all the credit for? Oh, that reminds me. If you're looking for the key to your brand new office, you might want to check in the Circus of Values down the hall. Hope you brought your milk money, asshole. We make it all run. The brains in those bots and cameras, that's us. Automatic bathysphere navigation, calculating genetic probabilities for new plasmids, health, regulating water pressure so this place ain't a fish tank. It's all Rapture Central computing. Not that we get the recognition. <sighs> Funny thing about living in the city tomorrow, everybody takes it for granted. I read to you now from the machine's prediction. Sigma enters Minerva's den. Encounters hostility. Sigma enters Wall's chambers. You see, the thing has chosen me. It does not care what I want then. Adam makes it hard to sleep, forgetting things lately. So this, this is an emergency reminder for the call to my private storage area. I won't record the number, but remember, just look at the four groups of books on the shelf. And the sequence is obvious. Good. It's all hooked up. I can run the hack sequence from here. Just one minute. That should do it. I hope. If the hack turned out right, you are now the proud owner of one homemade signal jammer. Porter worries you with Sophia Lamb's torpedoes? Ha! Ah, he fills your head with foolish visions of freedom. I can provide you more immediate concerns. Continuing input of audio data into the Thinker's database. Subject, Pearl Porter. I want to tell the recorder how we met, Milton. Okay, sure. I was working in my family's diner. School was starting for the fall. And one morning, in walks this college boy. Clean cut. First thing I noticed was his eyes. He sat down and ordered bacon, eggs, and coffee. He was shy, but we talked a little off and on. He came in every single morning for breakfast and ordered the same thing. I told my mama, that boy must really love your cooking. She said, he isn't coming in for the food, honey. He's coming in for you. A year later, we were married. So far, so good. I can feel the sunlight already. 
Now we just print out the machine code from the Thinker's central processor so I can take it to the surface and start to rebuild. Computer core access is at the far end of ops. What would Rapture be like without automation? From self-opening doors to pneumatic delivery, Rapture central computing keeps life running smoothly. The technology of Minerva's den keeps Rapture running smoothly. Unauthorized tampering with computer equipment is a punishable offense. Thinker's algorithm is highly accurate in predicting local phenomena. But how far can I trust the machine? I have found it running protocols that are not mine. The old Alpha series are returning. Someone is cutting them loose. Delta, Sigma, and the machine has no data on them, which, which, which makes no... Is it hiding them from me? Is it conspiring against its master? Sending someone? No! I am so close to seeing everything. No one will get that away. Not even the machine itself. Now you're cooking. Charge up for an explosive blast. It's not your time to enter the core. Not just yet. Wall, you son of a bitch. He's cranked the Thinker's coolant system into overdrive. You're frozen out of the core. Head to climate control and manually reset the turbine to defrost this mess. It's the only way we're going to make it to the Thinker. Rapture is at war, Porter. And you have cast your lot with the enemy. Your concerned associates provided me with a recording of your own voice, swearing loyalty to Fontaine and his gangsters. Evidence of treason. My men are already on their way. The Thinker no longer needs you. Take pride in that. Mr. Wall is qualified to ensure that it is used in the city's best interest. Eventually, a man's dream exceeds him, and his work becomes his legacy. For you, Charles, that hour has come. Continuing input of audio data into the Thinker's database. Subject, Pearl Porter. I'm recording this on the day since you were home last. I know your work is important to the war effort, but you're not even allowed to tell me what you're working on, and that's so frustrating. London is a beautiful city, but it isn't home. I... I hope I'll see you soon, Milton. I... Ending in. Sigma, the main cooling turbine is in overdrive. The controls should be down below. The irony of my predictive equation is that it sometimes requires blind faith. I see the individual elements crashing against each other, and the urgency of what I must do to maintain my part in the plan is clear. But I cannot always see just why. An Alpha series is headed to Minerva's den, subject Sigma, and the equation states that if he reaches the computer core, catastrophe! I do not know why, yet. But I know what must be done. Subject Sigma is approaching Minerva's den. He must not reach the Thinker. Detonate the tunnel! That'll do. The chamber leading the mainframe access is defrosting as we speak. Head on back there.
Next stop, the Thinker's Computer Core. The ice was meant to send a message, Sigma, but you do not listen. Perhaps your brothers can open your ears. The equation is nearing its conclusion, Sigma. The answers lie in the core. The thinker is waiting for you, Sigma. And so am I. Sigma! I am still crunching the numbers! Watch out! Hell, there's one way into the core that Wall can't lock off. The maintenance access shaft. Sorry to send you down through the pit. It's all we've got. What is driving you into the core, Sigma? What compels you to defy the Thinker's equation? Ryan's secret police came for Potter long ago. And now he has reappeared in Minerva's den? A man sent to Persephone does not just open his cell door and walk home. to keep you from the heart of the machine. You did not listen. When the pangs of familiarity sting you, my friend, you will have only yourself to blame. Well, Thinker, Ryan's secret police are on their way. They cooked up some kind of evidence against me. Treason, they say. I've heard what happens to folks who get disappeared come back as one of those metal daddies. So I'm leaving you with something to cogitate on in my absence. Inputting rapture departure protocol. Figure a way to get yourself out of this city, thinker. You've got to live on, no matter what happens to me. You'll find a way. are in the Thinker's core. The code printer is upstairs in the control booth. Top level access only. You'll need to confirm your genetic identity to start the printing process. my hand, you see? The thinker is shut down. That leaves only two variables. You and me. The equation ends here. Herr Sigma, it is Dr. Tannenbaum. With the computer disabled, Minerva's den is falling to pieces. No pressure regulation, no air supply. You must defeat Vol and bring the thinker back to full power. I stand before you, the trusted partner who put a knife in your back. Do not disappoint me. Quickly, take the administrator punch card from Val's body and reactivate the thinker. Yeah, dude. 
evasion. Confirming user's genetic identity. Genetic identity confirmed. Alpha series. Subject Sigma. Former identity. Charles Milton Porter. Welcome back. Alpha. System in ending personality duplication. Subject, Charles Milton Porter. You see now why I let the machine speak for you, Mr. Porter. We needed a voice that would be familiar, comforting, your own. With that copy of the Thinker's programming, we may return to the surface and use it to restore you to the man you once were. Please, collect the printout and meet me at your bathysphere dock. Take your time, Mr. Porter. I will be waiting. I believe I'm done feeding audio recordings and personal anecdotes to the Thinker. I am set to test the personality duplication function. Target personality, Pearl Porter. Thinker, are you ready? Yes, Milton. <clears throat> Starting test. Hello, Pearl. Hello, Milton. How... How have you been? Just wonderful, Milton. I've missed you, though. It's been so long. Pearl, I... No. No, this isn't right. It isn't her. Thinker, stop the test. But what's the matter, Milton? Oh, God. Don't you still love me? Oh, God, I... Oh, God, I said... I said, end function, Thinker. Now! It's over. The Thinker never gave up on you, Mr. Porter. It could not leave you behind. Please, step up to the console and begin the Bathysphere launch sequence. We have much work ahead of us. I lived through the Blitz, Pearl, and the fall of Rapture. They took my memory, my voice, everything that made me a man, but nothing ever scared me so much as saying goodbye. I wanted to save you. I couldn't resist trying to bring you back the only way I knew how. But you didn't want that. I know it now, and I think I'm finally ready to let you go your way. I stand here with the sun on my face, and it's almost like I can feel you smiling. Goodbye, Pearl. I love you more than I've got words for. Milton. <laughs> 